What's going on you guys? It is Isaac. Welcome back to another video with Steve at Pub1021. Gonna put his ad right here. Go subscribe to him and hey, make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe. Today, we're just gonna be trying a whole handful of just random ass sodas I found. Some rare ones, some weird ones, some discontinued sodas that need to be brung back. Uh, so we're just gonna get straight into this with some one of the newest sodas that got released recently. And that would be Coca-Cola Starlight. Uh, this is the zero sugar version. Uh, <laughs> I've already tried this. I won't cap. One time this was sitting in my fridge and my, I didn't have a chaser so I had to use it. But I have not tried the sugar free version. And this man has never tried Coca-Cola Starlight that, that I know of. I'm not Negative. aware. Uh, so this is supposed to be a space flavored Coca-Cola. Uh, unfortunately I did not get flaming Hot Mountain Dew yet. But I'm going to make a short on flaming Hot Mountain Dew so shit. Let's let's pour up some of this space flavored Coca Cola zero sugar. Hell yeah! I want to know what space tastes like. A zero sugar space. It let's smells see. like the moon. Let's see. It smells like fruit flavored Coke. Tastes like Coca Cola. Had a little bit of nerds, a little bit of nerd residue, just fall into a can. Kind of tastes like if cherry coke was missing tastes something. Tastes like if you were to mix cotton candy with coke. It's not terrible. No. But it's it takes not a, great. It takes away that acidic fucking uh, uh, second, what is it, aftertaste. Yeah. It takes away the acidic aftertaste. It's like a fruity coke. Yeah. But like artificial, like cotton candy nerds type fruit flavor. So hey, I would give that like a three out of five. I'll give that, because uh, I'm guessing that these these other ones aren't going to be the best. I'm giving that a 5 out of, what is it, 5 out of 10, 5 out of 5? Shit, 5 out of 5, 5 out of 10. I don't know, 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10, alright, we'll do it out of 10. So next up we have one that was a limited edition flavor that I never saw before, but I bought it on eBay. Mountain Dew Cake Smash. This is cake flavored Mountain Dew. It's clear. It is a clear... Here, you want to pour it? Yes, sir. I'm not getting really, really any smell off this either. Maybe like dirty gym socks. No, I'm getting kind of like a, a like a, a fucking, like a cake smell. Like it smells like cake. All right, Mountain Dew Cake Smash. Cheers. I wouldn't say that tastes like cake, but that's good as shit. I would not say it tastes like cake at all. <laughs> tastes like ginger ale mixed with Mountain Dew. It, it does. It tastes like Mountain Dew Whiteout with a little bit of ginger ale in it. It tastes like the fucking Christmas edition mixed with a little bit of sugar. Yeah. Dude, bring this back, but change the name. This tastes nothing like fucking cake. I don't know what flavor this is, but... It's a lie to your advertisement. It, it does really not taste is. like cake. I am giving it a 4 out of 10. 4 no, out of 10. I'm sorry, a 3 out of 10. It, it, it for the cake right. flavor, it is a 1 out of 10. For the flavor in general, I'd give it like a 6. Yeah. This might not be a twist off, but it is pumpkin pie flavor. Alright, after some technical difficulties, we found a bottle opener. We are trying the pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie flavored soda. I can't Ooh. fucking speak. Uh, also, guys, don't forget to subscribe. I see like so many of you. Look at this fucking... Uh, Look at the analytics right here. So many people are not subscribed, so make sure you subscribe and subscribe to him. We got this shit cracked open. Let's pour up some of this pumpkin pie flavored soda. One of my favorite desserts. One of my favorite desserts. I would have to say mine as well. I could eat a whole pumpkin pie myself. Same. I've done it before. Yeah, I have done it to where I've eaten two fucking pumpkin pies. Cause my mom made one extra for her family, and yeah, she was not happy. It smells odd. It does smell very odd. Like nutmeg and some carbonation. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, let's try this. I am not a giant fan of it, but I, it's I'm, very odd. I'm not disopposing that does... That tastes like pumpkin pie to me. It tastes like... Whip, it has a whipped cream aftertaste. Yeah, it has say. a whipped cream aftertaste. It's like you're hit with nutmeg, and then you get some pumpkin pie, and then it ends with whipped cream. Mm -hmm. It's not terrible, but it is a bit much. I don't know if I could even drink 
a whole bottle of this shit. This shit probably has so much it's sugar in it. It's not bad. I could drink it. It's not great. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. I'm giving it a 3.5. I don't know if we're going to be consuming this one. But this is my favorite soda of all time. They uh, discontinued it in 2011. So this soda is old as fuck. Did you ever try this? Volt, it was basically an energy soda, and it tasted very very similar to Sprite, Mountain Dew, and all that shit, Surge, but it hit different, and they had a red version, and... Oh, I remember seeing the red yes, version. Yes, there was That's, a red Volt, it was so good, and uh, Coca-Cola discontinued it, so Coke, bring this back. Let's see what a 10-year-old soda, if you don't believe me, expiration on the bottom, 2000... 2012. 2012, March 12, 2012. So let's see, 10 year old soda. Ah, oh. oh, it has some fizz. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. No way. That actually looks normal. That looks drinkable. Wait, pour the rest out. I want to see if there's any chunks. We said if there's chunks, I'm not drinking it. There is no chunks. Ooh. There is zero chunks. Ooh. I am not gonna swallow this, but I am gonna take a sip to bring me back to 2010. Oh god. Yoink. I'm gonna spit it into. I don't know. I'm just gonna spit it back into his beverage. Okay, here we go. 10 year old soda. I swallowed it. Yep. And that tasted amazing. It didn't taste too bad. That tasted like classic old Volt. I just drink a 10 year old soda. Don't drink any more of it. Mm. <laughs> Don't drink any more of it. I just drink some more. It's 10 years old. It's gonna wreak havoc on our stomach. It honestly tasted like Volt. And I love Volt. Coca Cola, I, bring it back. I didn't have a whole lot of flavor. I mean, it just doesn't taste like I'm gonna fucking puke my guts out. Right True. Now. So, but I give it. Bring back the red version. It being 10 years old, I give it a 4 out of 10. I give it a 6. Just for it not making me puke. I give it a 6 because I love Volt and the red one. I remember it being greener than this. I think that's the effect of the 10 years. This is like clear. It used to look green if I'm not mistaken. Depends on the other. All right. We are back. We had to pour out all of that Volt. Honestly, it was a blast in the past for me. I miss that. Coca-Cola, bring that back. And next uh, next up, uh, we have Seal Ya Later. I got all this stuff from a Coca-Cola shop near me. It says, knock, knock, who's there? America. No idea what the flavor of this is, but uh, I'm sorry if this is offensive. I thought it was funny at the shop when I was really stoned, so I'm sorry. Let me know what you guys think about videos like this, and we'll quite possibly do some more. That has such an odd smell. It smells kind of like black licorice. Yeah. Why does it taste semi-alcoholic? It kind of does. I don't know what flavor that is. I don't either. Maybe like a root beer that I could went wrong. I could see it as a root beer. It's not bad. No. It's just not. It's There's it's literally not nothing really to good. say about it. Yeah. There is nothing to say about Celia later. It's not bad. Literally, uh, five out of five, nothing to say. Move on to the next one. I would say two out of five, two out of ten, just go to the, don't even buy it. Just, yeah, get a, just get a root beer if you want. Uh, we have fungal fruit. Uh, it's so disgusting. Totally gross soda. Uh, and yeah. I hope it tastes absolutely delicious. Fungal fruit soda. Cheers, mates. It does, it smells really bad. Yeah. It's not terrible, but it's not good. This is exactly like the last drink. It tastes like sparkling water if it was yeah. diluted down even more. It's it's just like it's like drinking fresca if fresca yeah. somehow had less flavor. It's like drinking fresca diet. This is the most it this is exactly like the last drink. What can I say about it? This is a three out of ten. This is very a one fucking out of ten. boring. Very fucking boring drink. And last on the list, 
we have a mystery soda. We have no fucking clue what flavor it is. And, uh, yeah. So, we're gonna just guess what flavor this is, I'm guessing. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> all this soda's turning my tongue orange. <laughs> that smells it's like, like the worst of the worst. Oh, Hold up. <laughs> what is that scent? I don't want to look in the ingredients, actually. Hold up. Cheers. Down the hatch with a scratch. <laughs> uh, uh, that's fucking terrible hold the fucking phone i need something to clear my mouth that was the worst one yeah that was worse than 10 year old soda mm -hmm. what is in this catastrophe water honey apple cider vinegar that's what it is yep. hey Ooh. my favorite is this the the mountain dew cake smash What's your favorite? Mine's gotta be the pumpkin pie. All right, so we have different fl favorites, and my least favorite is the mystery soda, and I yeah. think we can agree this one deserves to go in the fucking shitter. That one, I just wanna stick a rag in the top of and light it on fire and just throw it. We will see you guys later. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If you guys want more videos like this, comment down below if you don't want more other videos like this comment down below what videos you want to see from us in the future sorry for a lacking on videos it's been two weeks since i've last uploaded we got new shit coming so see y'all later drop a like peace